It's a celebration. 20 years of defying gravity. 20 years at the Gershwin Theater. Wicked is Broadway's fourth longest running musical with no sign of slowing down. I'm Tamsin Fidel, and this one is going to be wickedly good. Because we're all things Wicked, Wicked celebrates two decades on Broadway on Monday, October 30th. Before Dorothy, before Toto, and before that flying house, there were Glinda and Elphaba. I talked to Broadway's current stars, Alyssa Fox and Mackenzie Kurtz. 20th anniversary coming up. You have a pre-party, a post-party, plans to get ready. What does it feel like right now? Overwhelming, but really exciting. Like, I feel like it's not lost on us how exciting this moment is for Wicked and for the whole fandom. Now, you're, you're newer to the show. You've been here for a long time, but both of you, I'm sure, have former cast members that you just are excited to see or maybe have heard from. A lot of the former Glindas and Alphabas are coming, which I'm really excited because I haven't, I've met a few of them and I've worked with a few of them, but I'm really excited to see them all and then have a little party. Yeah, any in particular? Oh. that have inspired you? Oh. Or? I'm hoping Kristen and Idina make an appearance. We'll see, you know, but those are the OGs and yeah. like inspirations. Yes. Eden Espinosa was the first Elphaba I understudied for. Mm -hmm. So I hope that she's around because she's so wonderful. It's so exciting. Yeah. Let's talk about the staying power of the show because there are not a lot of shows that have this length of time, really. You know, it's a special story. It's a you know, human emotion is there. It tugs at your heartstrings and then you could see it 20 times. Um, what do you think it is? What do you think gives it the staying power? I think there are so many things with the character specifically that people connect to, that people can identify with Glinda or Elphaba. People always say, are you a Glinda or an Elphaba? And I feel like most people have one of those that they're drawn to. And I think that's so cool that everyone in the audience can kind of see themselves on stage. Now, were you always both drawn to the, the characters? Yeah, totally. I was. We talked about this on Monday, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think early on I knew I was a Glinda for sure, and I can relate to her in some ways in real life, and I think you me can too. as well. Me too, yeah, I'm definitely an Elphaba, but I also love girly girl things. I love pink. Okay. <laughs> you it's do? one of my favorite colors, yeah. <laughs> and I love ruffles and bows and sparkles and all that, so like, I don't mind wearing the black and the green, but like it is fun to like dip into the Glinda world every once in a while. Do you have an inner alphabet anywhere or no? You're staying with them. I know, green. I think so. I think okay. there's a healthy balance going on, but I think the majority is definitely more of a Glinda. But yeah, I, I can relate to both characters. Green, You're, you've got green. it everywhere in your life now. I'm sure you'll see it on your nails. I'm, I'm sure it's in your ears on somewhere. On my pillowcase. I'm sure it's yes. in your pillowcase. Uh, has it been your favorite color at all, ever? No? I, actually, it's always kind of been, my favorite color is like yeah. purple, like dark magenta, but then my second favorite color has always been green. Thank goodness, and right? I, I, thank that's goodness. A, that's a very, it's a very good thing. It is, and so I do love it, and I feel like I'm drawn to it very much. Was this always one that was kind of on your radar? When was the first time you, you do you remember your first time you saw Wicked? Yes, I was, I think I was like, eight or nine years old and sitting in this theater um, seeing it for the first time my mom bought us all separate tickets so we could be as close to the stage as possible so I remember sitting here at nine years old watching this incredible show sobbing and just being so inspired and so it's always a show that I've wanted to be a part of since I was a kid. What about you? First um, time. When I first saw Wicked, it was on the tour in Dallas, because that's where I'm from. Um, but it was a really long time ago. And so I don't even know who I saw as my Glinda and Alphaba. Yeah. But I remember sitting in the audience. I know that we didn't really have enough money to like buy seats all together. So my mom was sitting up in the balcony and she let me have oh, the seat up close. So um, and I remember um, in the same building, calling her after Defying Gravity and being like, I have to do this. Yeah. Like this is this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah.